Hey, my people, family, welcome. This is another episode of Latin Vegan or Latino Vegano. This is episode number 56. And if you are a vegan business owner or you're planning on opening a vegan business, you want to check out this episode. You want to stay all the way to the end because it has an amazing news for y'all. So I wanted to shift a little bit this episode, the last few episodes, which I've been asking, answering a lot of questions uh, coming from y'all. But I wanted to talk a little bit about um, entrepreneurship. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an activist. I'm a fitness and lifestyle coach. And veganism has always been my passion. I love talking about it and sharing anything about all veganism. But for this episode, I wanted to talk about vegan business. So I wanted to talk to you guys, so whoever owns a vegan business or whoever wants to or is thinking about opening a vegan business. Um, if you are one of those who owns a business or planning on opening a business, this is a, this is a great episode for you. No mind. If you are not opening a business or don't have a business, um, share this with any of your friends or colleagues or anyone that you know that owns a business, especially a big business, actually, because I'm going to be sharing some really good tips and a lot of good information um, about how can you generate more clients? At the end, we want more clients, we want more business, we want more people to buy our product or hire our services or just just yeah, just come to our locals, to stores, or whatever it is that your business is. We just want more clients, we want more leads. So this episode, I'm going to be addressing that. So let's go. LatinoYVegano.com a lot of you guys know me for coaching and training people on adopting a plant-based diet or a vegan lifestyle. Same as I help people transform their life and have the very version of themselves through the fitness aspect as well. So I've focused on helping people on the emotional and the physical aspect of their own transformation. And, but to me, there's a lot more to that. I have more other passions and one of my biggest passion is entrepreneurship uh, um, by heart i'm an entrepreneur um i love helping people when it comes to that space so also i'm a digital ma marketer a bit of my background is that i went to school for computer science for four years graduated uh, received a bachelor degrees in that but i also went to uh, took a master's degree an mba and my specialization was marketing now this day i focus on helping b vegan businesses generate more lead customers, uh, make more sales using social media and using the power of the internet and the social media. So I use some of my skills and uh, combine to help um, big and businesses as well. So that's another um, part of my of my life that I wanted to share with you guys. And I'm excited about sharing what, what I have in mind, what's next in my um, project list. I'm a digital marketer and vegan lead generator expert. I'm about to show you guys a brand new way to transform your social media profile to generate unlimited free organic traffic for your business. It doesn't require any special skills and it doesn't involve running any complicated ads. In fact, what I'm about to show you guys is probably the easiest, fastest and most beginner friendly way to grow your business with social media today. Yes, I'm going to be sharing those tips and secrets with you guys. So before I even go further, I wanted to share with you guys something that I read from the veganreview.com. It says, for instance, between 2014 and 2017, there was a 600% increase in people who identify themselves as vegan, just in the United States. In addition, according to the Ally Market Research, the vegan food market is expected to reach 31 point four billion by 2026 veganism is a trend that not slowing down especially now in an era when a virus of an animal origin has crept the world the steady growth of veganism and increased demand for food products services and experience that are vegan and cruelty free are far from the only reason to start vegan business venture Recent surveys have shown that most people want to continue to work from home post-pandemic. 
And if you are among the majority, taking the leap on your home-based vegan business will help make that a reality. So basically, guys, it's like if you're thinking about opening a vegan business, this is the right time, perfect time for all these things that the veganreview.com mentioned. I'm going to have the link of this article in the description of the video so you guys can go ahead and read it. At the same time, if you already have a big business, great. You are in perfect, perfect shape right now. This is like the perfect time. People are more conscious about what they're eating. If, you, if you're taking from an uh, ethical standpoint, people are more aware of the all the different type of um, effects that uh, animal products cause to the environment. Uh, tons of documentaries that are coming out now, or that are not already, explaining all these uh, all these things. So it's like the perfect time for it. It's, it's great how veganism have evolved so much too that now through information and social media, it's more accessible for people now compared to, um, I don't know, 20 years ago, let's say when I, uh, when I started. For a lot of us, having the opportunity to own a vegan business or start our own plant-based business is actually a dream come true. For one, we at times feel that not many companies out there align with our belief, and some of their practices are somewhat cruel to animals and even to humans. So having the opportunity to create our own product, services, or solutions for our own fellow beings and non vegan is such a win-win for us. For me in particular, another way to promote veganism is by offering either a product, service, or solution. And why is that? Well, the number shows that how the lifestyle is growing. If I go back to 20 years ago, how much the movement has grown is amazing. Therefore, the more we support our fellow vegans and educate non-vegans, the better we do for our animals, for our planet, and for the health. Having more vegan options, vegan restaurants, vegan fashion, vegan products, vegan services help move our movement. At the same time, shows compassion and alternative that align with our messages. And that's a big way to represent and promote the lifestyle. If you own a vegan business or you are a plant-based entrepreneur, as you are listening or watching this, chances are that you are searching for a way to generate more lead sales using social media. I have created a toolkit, basically a blueprint, to show you a brand new way to unlock a passive stream of free leads and sales into your business on a daily basis. I remember that probably 20 years ago, the idea of having your own vegan business was like a crazy idea because the biggest issue was like, who's going to support you? How can you sustain a vegan business where there's not enough vegans? <laughs> so all these ideas were in place. How are you going to even own a business that is called vegan when there's not really that many vegans? So the whole concept of having a vegan business, it was like crazy, basically. Like, why would you want to have a vegan business? I recall that um, here in Texas, where I live, there were at least like five vegan restaurants maybe 15 years ago. And... They, some of them didn't even call themselves vegan. They were vegetarian restaurants, uh, even though they were probably serving vegan food. Um, or they were called healthy options. Or they were called, um, you know, all kind of names. But they were not necessarily identified themselves as vegan. If you fast forward to now, I, I can't even keep up with the amount of restaurants they are. And now they even go by vegan. You got Asian, soul food, Mexican. Um, you got, I mean, all kind Italian. You name it. You got all sorts of like different type of food, and they even call themselves plant based or vegan. They identify themselves that way, and then the majority of them are owned by vegans. So that lets you know how much the movement has grown, the demand has grown, and the opportunities are out there how we always now see uh, there's a niche and there's a market um, there's people looking for these options so everything just changed and this is the right opportunity the right time for to hop into it if you are thinking about opening a vegan business or 
if you already have the business, this is the right opportunity to market that business to even a wider or greater scale uh, group of people. So this is the right time, guys. I know many of, of you business owners, the idea of posting on social media daily is tedious, boring, or even sometimes a challenge. Uh, and that's because you don't know what to do or what content to post or you just don't have the time to do it. As a small or even large business owner, you just want to focus on what you do best. If you are a chef, you just want to cook. If you want to coach, you just want to mentor. If you are a trainer, you just want to train people. Or whatever is that your business is. You do not want to be focusing yourself on doing something else, especially posting three or four times in social media, because I know how that is. But we know that the posting on social media nowadays is crucial for your business brand. It's crucial or it's important, right, to generate lead and brand recognition, brand awareness, all these different terms. We hear all the stories about how much you need to be posting and, and promoting your business on social media and even so much more. Sometimes post three or four times a day your new business and then once you generate some followings, then you can reduce maybe once a day, but they constantly have to be posting to keep people engaged. And one of the biggest arguments I always hear is I don't have the budget to do it for. I don't have the budget or I don't have the, the resources to be spending that much time putting content on social media. But, guys, what I would like to present is the easiest, affordable, effective solution that you can implement right now and see results in a short period of time. What I suggest is turning your social media profile into what we call a landing page. Yes, a landing page. I was like, oh, you wonder, like, oh, what? what is that, Roger? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What are you talking about? Now, if you're asking me, what is a landing page? It's, well, it's another way to say, or maybe basically saying a one-page website. And I put together a step-by-step -step guide called the Vegan Leads Toolkit with all my insights on how can you accomplish this. Is this something that you are interested? You can check it out on my website, veganroger.com, and you can download it. The Vegan Leads Toolkit is basically a step-by-step -step guide created by me or a blueprint on how to turn your profile into a lead magnet and attract more clients more sales with basically organic or paid traffic if you wanted to go that route as well. So I literally explain step by step how you can turn your social media profile into a landing page. And basically the way it works, guys, is how many times you've seen in social media people comment, may remark, so may some kind of announcement on social media, and then once you see that person's name, you kind of get intrigued and you click on their profile so you can take a peek of who who that person is, right? You want to know a little bit more about this person. So that happens a lot. You're not the only one that does it. I do, and everybody else is doing it. Because in this time, in this society, we kind of want to take a peek of who that person is. So by doing that, it's, it's basically organic traffic. So what's going to attract the attention of that person to check not only to check your profile, but at the same time to check out your business is if you have an attractive landing page or an attractive profile that is going to caught that person's attention so they can go click further. So this is how what I'm explaining. So basically, you can just take that information and create it yourself. But if you're more interested to learning how to do it and I give you all the tools and all the necessary steps, then you're more than welcome to check out veganroger.com and see all the information that I just posted in my, as a matter of fact, landing page or one-page website. If you're a vegan or plant-based business owner or an entrepreneur, chances are that you are facing this. You want more client, you want more business, you want more people to look at your product, see your, see your services. Um, you just want people to acknowledge you. And you're not getting that acknowledgement. And maybe because you don't have the tools to do it. And that's where I had to 
decided to create this just to specifically to help vegan and plant-based businesses. Who doesn't want more customers? Who doesn't want more clients? Who doesn't want more sales? Right? As now, I'm running a special offer for all my podcasts and YouTube listeners and followers. Be one of the first ones to get a copy of the Leads Toolkit. It's going to be a big discount, about 90% off. And check out some of the amazing reviews and comments that people have left that I've used before. So check out veganroger.com. Guys, I'm excited about this. This is a great project. I put a lot of time and thought into it. I can't wait for you guys to see it and share it and comment. It's an exciting project. I definitely want to help vegan businesses to grow, scale, to have more business, to be successful, because it's, at the end it's going to benefit all of us. It's going to benefit the planet. It's going to benefit the environment. Families are going to be able to be fed. And animals are not going to be able to be um, killed because the more vegan businesses we have out there, the more we thrive. And then the less other businesses have to be, especially when we're talking about restaurants. You want more vegan restaurants. You want more restaurants to start incorporating more vegan options, right? And you want to promote those things. You want more vegan services, right, also. You want vegan personal trainers. You want vegan coaches. And you want vegan chef. Any of these services that you can provide, we need more of those because there's a big, now, um, boy, or there's a big need for those type of services. Guys, I'm excited. I'm really excited about this project. I want you guys to go check it out. It's, it's amazing. The Vegan Lease Toolkit is already out. It's going to be ready for you guys. You guys can download. Check it out, veganroger.com. I got all my information there. And you can you can read more about it. You can see more about it actually in practice too. Because I want vegan businesses to be so successful, to do great, and to thrive. And as a vegan digital marketer, that's my whole main goal, just to help vegan businesses. I would love to feature you or to one of my episodes once you utilize uh, the toolkit information and you create your own landing page. And once you start generating leads, organic leads, then I would like to feature you in the show so you can come and talk about it. And the best thing about this, guys, is once you set up your landing page with the toolkits that I'm going to provide you, you don't have to even worry about it. It's not like you have to go back and update it every time. It's create one time, take the time to create it, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. For now, let's keep promoting veganism saving these animals, our planet, and take care of our health. I love you guys. Love, peace, vegan. See you guys in the next episode. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Gracias por escuchar Latino y Vegano. Un show donde se habla todo lo relacionado sobre el veganismo entre la comunidad latina. No olviden suscribirse a este podcast, seguirnos en Instagram, Facebook, YouTube y a visitarnos en latinoyvegano.com. Latino